So uh, here we're back a little moving philister plane that we used a little while ago. Um, just a, basically a fence rabbit plane, the knickers taken out of it. So, um, and I've got it set to, I used the backboard itself to set the width of my cut right here. So it's set uh, for about half inch. And I've also, I've set the uh, depth stop. It's probably about a quarter or so. So uh, I'm gonna start just like with the plow. I'm gonna start down here on the end on the first little bit, kind of work my way back. Before I go any farther, I mean, for some reason that looks a little bit wide. I don't know, we're right on it. Just double check. So now I've got a groove started down through there for a rabbit. Keep the, uh, as you're working down, be sure and kind of keep pressure, keep the plane pushed into the cut. Uh, you don't want it to wander out, you know, you'll, the back wall will be angled. So. Okay, you hear it? We're down to the depth stop there. So uh, that's all there is to the rabbit. Hold that up here where you can see it. And so that's, you see what we've done there. We've just got this little cut out. The backboard will drop down in there and nail. So uh, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and uh, the other uh, little dado here right quick and we'll be ready to start on the top pieces. If you're interested in learning traditional woodworking, come take a class at our school in Earliesville, Virginia. You can also visit our website at woodandshop.com where you'll find a bunch of free woodworking lessons, workshop tours, and our very popular tool buying guides. And make sure you subscribe to our free newsletter to get our latest articles and videos. Enjoy!